Welcome to the Migu Run Skyrunner World Series and to one of the most iconic mountains in the world, Olympus, and the biggest skyrunning event in Greece, the 14th Olympus Marathon. Greece hosted the first ever ancient Olympic Games in order to honour Zeus and all the gods who, according to the mythology, were living in Olympus. The race provides a unique opportunity to explore the beauty and history of the Greek mythical mountain whilst running a 44km route. The mountain, apart from being a national park, is listed as a World Natural Heritage Monument by UNESCO. The Olympus Marathon was the fourth event in June as part of the Migu Run Skyrunner World Series. The event was a great chance for the Greek athletes to compete against the pros and for the organisers to showcase the beauty and challenges of this mythical mountain. It's uh, very important for us that 14th uh, Olympus Marathon, uh, our race is uh, a part of uh, Miguran Skyrunner World Series. We, we have a lot of experience collected from uh, the years before, so we are uh, we, we believe that we uh, can have a very good uh, result. In this unique race, the runners have a chance to follow historic paths and pass through some of the most beautiful scenery with tremendous views. Top athletes from around the world were at the event, all eager to claim the coveted title. Among them, Aret Zagir, Jessed Hernandez and Julian Martinez have come from Spain, as well as Kirill Nikolov from Bulgaria in the men's category. In the women's race, amongst the favourites were Hilary Allen from the USA, Ragnar de Bats from the Netherlands and Sola Nora from Spain. I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, I've got good feelings, uh, I'm in a good shape, so I think everything's possible. I feel quite strong, we will see tomorrow, the, the trip has been quite long, but anyway, there are no excuses and I will try to push hard tomorrow and see what happens. Yeah, I think that uh, not only in Greece, I think that uh, Olympus is uh, world famous, it's uh, a mythical, mythical mountain and it's quite ex exciting to be here. I think and I believe that the most strong guy tomorrow is going to be Dimitris. He is Greek, he knows this as his house, his own house. Maybe my, my strong part is not the uphill, so I, I will probably do a lonely race to the top because the other better guys from me will be in front and I will try to do what I can on the big down, it's a big down. Ragnar de Bats is second in the overall rankings at the moment and is one of the favourites to win here. Let's meet her. I'm Ragnar de Bats, I'm 38 years old and I'm from the Netherlands. I, start, I actually started running in 2009, which was the, the year when I did my first race. It was in, in, in Spain, at the coast, uh, a race called La Foradada. My first sky race was in maybe 2011. It was a sky race Boliviana in the Catalan Pyrenees. I'm a mother. So all the time that I've got left, uh, I spend with my little daughter. So when I'm racing, I feel loaded with energy. Normally, during a race, I try to feel this energy and to keep feeling it. So uh, not to get tired, but to just enjoy uh, the race and feel powered, energized. Uh, I think maybe to start with like uh, half marathon sky races and uh, get out there, get to the mountains and uh, just try it out, you will love it. Normally uh, I feel concentrated, so no other emotions. Uh, the day before I feel nervous, but at the morning it's just calm and concentrated. Seven hundred and sixty six athletes from twenty five countries were on the starting line for the twenty seventeen race. Forty four kilometers lay ahead of them with the mighty Olympus to conquer. 
Just after six in the morning, the athletes were ready to start and there was much anticipation amongst the competitors ahead of the race. I feel very excited. It's a race I've done a lot of research into and there's some great elites coming out today. So I'm really excited to be running with them, running with the gods as well. So all in all, really excited to run the race. I've been preparing quite well. I know the course. Uh, I think I uh, have a very good chances to win, so I'm feeling good. The race started on road and crossed Dion village before hitting the country road towards the mountain. In this first part, Greek hero Dimitri Theodorakakos was leading with Aritz Aguirre and Julian Martinez behind, chasing him down. In the women's race, Ragna Debats led with Glicaria Zia Zia and Hilary Allen following her. At five kilometres, the athletes reached the Olympus foothills. From there, it was pure sky running all the way. After approximately two and a half hours of uphill running, the first athletes arrived at the Muses Plateau. This is the highest part of the mountain with the Zeus throne peak above it at the western end. First to arrive was Aritz Aguirre ahead of Dimitri Theodora Kakos, who was suffering with stomach problems and in third position it was Jessid Hernandez. In the women's category, Ragna de Bats arrived first, followed by Glykira Tsiatzia, Sola Laura in third, and Hilary Allen in fourth. When the athletes arrived at the Muses Plateau, the highest and maybe the most difficult point of the Olympus Marathon, they had already covered half the distance of the race. It was an important point in the race, and it also served as a feeding station for the athletes. In the men's race, Aritz Aguirre was looking strong and had his eye on breaking the course record. Ten minutes behind him, it was Dimitri Theodorakakos, followed by Jessid Hernandez, who was within 30 seconds of Theodorakakos. In the women's category, Ragna de Bats was leading, with Glicaria Zia Zia five minutes behind her. Could the Greek champion reel her in during the second half of the race? After leaving the refuge of the plateau, the trail climbed further up to the pass just below Zeus's throne before the second part of the race got underway in bravo, earnest. Bravo. There was a long, winding descent to the finish to navigate. With heavy, tired legs from the climb, the athletes had to contend with some steep, downhill sections. Firstly in the alpine section of Olympus, then through to the fir forest, and finally in Any Pears Canyon. Twelve months ago, Theodora Kakos managed to overtake the record holder, Jessad Hernandez, during this downhill section. Could he once again show his class on the downhill sections? Entering Any Pears Canyon marked the last 10 kilometres of the race to the finish line in Litahoro. It was a real test to the end, with the hot and humid weather and a fast two-kilometre road section to the Olympus Marathon finish. Dimitri Theodorakakos and Glicaria Zia Zia struggled with their energy levels in Any Pears Canyon and couldn't keep their pace up. Arriving at the finish, it was Aritz Aguirre who cut the finish line take first in a time of 4 hours and 24 minutes. An impressive new record. He led from start to finish to beat Jessit Hernandez by 9 minutes, whilst third went to Kirill Nikolov. In the women's race, not to be outdone, Ragnar de Bats also broke the course record, finishing in a time of 5 hours and 18 minutes. Second went to Sola Laura with 5 hours and 32 minutes, and just five minutes later, Hilary Allen crossed the finish line. I'm very, very, very happy about everything, about really enjoying the race because I have enjoyed the race from the beginning to the end. No, okay, maybe not to the end because the last four kilometers was the hell, very, very hot. I'm very happy also because I win, 
and I'm also very happy because I beat the record and very big good, a very very good, a very good record. And I have no words. I mean, when you when you are happy, you you forget about everything, and that's it. Last year I was third in the overall World Cup, so it, it's not a surprise. But uh, of course I'm uh, happy with the race and uh, with the result. I'm very happy, I'm very pleased. Uh, I felt confident about the race, but of course I didn't know how it was going to be. Uh, I think I've done a, a good climb. Uh, it was just amazing the views at the top. So. Uh, I, I, I just felt great and the downhill was very tough, very long, but uh, my legs were okay so I could run fast and so I arrived well. Somebody told me run like a goddess and I thought that's what I'm going to do and it's a very special place because of the, the gods, it's a special energy here so it's a great place. Yeah. It was a demanding and tough race under the Greek blue sky and the event concluded at the prize giving the mountain of Greek gods. Let's see the Sky Classic series rankings after four of the 11 events for 2017. In the men's category, Agir Aritz keeps hold of the lead, followed by Kirill Nikolov and Julian Luritsia. In the women's category, Maite Mayora is leading with 220 points, Ragnar de Bats is second with 188 points, whilst Megan Kimmel is in third. Well, that's all regarding the Olympus Marathon, but the Migu Run Skyrunner World Series continues around the globe and takes in some truly iconic races.